Audio compression is an essential tool for any video editor. In this video, I will share everything you need to know about audio compression using the DaVinci Resolve 18. What is audio compression? Audio compression is a technique used to control the dynamic range of audio signals. It helps to even out the volume levels, making softer sounds louder and louder sounds softer. Let's take a quick look at an audio wave. It is essentially a signal caused by vibration that creates slight changes in the air pressure. The louder the audio, the higher the wave, and the softer the audio, the lower the wave. To understand what compression does, you need to understand what audio is. Really? This is an audio signal with a high dynamic range, meaning there's an equal mix of loud and soft parts in the audio. When I want to compress this audio wave, I want it to come out as less dynamic on the other side. But not every audio wave can be treated with the same controls. That's why we need to understand the essential parameters every compressor is based on. The threshold. The threshold determines at what point the compressor starts to reduce the volume. For example, if you set the threshold at minus 20 dB, any audio signal that exceeds this level will be compressed. The ratio. The ratio determines the amount of compression applied to the audio signal. For instance, a ratio of 4 to 1 means that for every 4 dB the audio signal exceeds the threshold, it will be reduced to 1 dB. The attack. The attack time determines how quickly the compressor responds to an audio signal that exceeds the threshold. The release. The release time determines how long it takes for the compression to stop once the audio signal falls below the threshold. And lastly, the makeup gain. The makeup gain allows you to compensate for any volume reduction caused by the compression process. Let's compress some audio. So before we feed this into a compressor, we need to make the clip a little bit louder so that our soft parts will get picked up by the compressor. So about between 8 and 10 decibels. Okay, let's open up our compressor. If you go onto your mixer dynamics, just go click there and then your compressor will open. By default, this will be off. There's three sections at the bottom here. We're just going to use the compressor section. Just activate that and let's see what it does. We want to get between 3, minus 3 and minus 6 gain reduction on this audio. So I'm going to play this and I'm going to turn the threshold knob. The release time determines how long it takes for the compression to stop. Perfect. Our high peaks are at minus 6, that's fine, but most of the gain reduction happens at minus 3. That's perfect. If we turn up the ratio, we'll get more gain reduction. The release time determines how long it takes for the compression to stop. That's basically limiting. I don't want that too much. So between 2 and 4 to 1 is fine. I'm going to put it at 3 to 1. The release time determines how long it takes for the compression. I usually use my attack time at the fastest. You can play around with that, uh, what sounds best for you. So play around with your release and your attack times. When you put your release time at its fastest, you'll get a lot of room sounds. So that's why I put it in the middle. The room sounds are not that audible. And now finally, if we put the compressor off, and play the audio. The release time determines how long it There's a big volume difference. That's where the makeup gain comes in. Let's try and match the audio with the makeup gain. The release time determines how long it takes for the compression to stop. And that's how a compressor works. Common mistakes. Setting the ratio too high. The compression ratio too high means you're over compressing your audio. You're squeezing the life out of it. That's enough! Using too much makeup gain means you, there's too much background noise. Your track needs some space, man. Just give it some space. We need some space. It's fine. Some of the most common ones are just compressing everything. If something doesn't need compression, don't compress it. No. Oh, no. Hey, no. Oh. Even though we haven't covered some more advanced techniques of compression like sidechain, parallel or multiband compression, these principles will help you get started. Remember, the key to mastering audio compression is practice, practice, practice and experiment. Take some time to familiarize yourself with the various compression settings and their impact on the audio. I hope this video helped you understand audio compression and how it can improve your audio skills. Turn out that notification bell above the compression threshold, click that like button with a ratio of 2.1 and attack that subscribe button with no release. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.